It's the U.S. military's most potent anti-tank weapon, depleted uranium, or DU. On impact, it burns through armor like a hot knife through butter, creating a plume of radioactive dust. Specialist Gerard Matthew cleaned up vehicles hit by DU during his five months in Iraq in 2003. He says breathing in depleted uranium dust made him sick. Now I came back with chronic migraines, swelling in my face, and vision problems. Matthew also says his two-and-a-half-year-old daughter's birth defect is a direct result of his DU exposure. He and seven other vets are suing the Army over depleted uranium. The U.S. Army insists its own testing of Iraq veterans shows no direct link between DU and illness or birth defects in humans. The radioactivity from depleted uranium is localized within the site of impact and does not pose a significant immediate health hazard. The World Health Organization and the Institute of Medicine seem to agree. They found no direct evidence linking DU to birth defects or cancer in humans, but a Pentagon-sponsored study by the Armed Forces Radiobiology Institute showed the combined effect of DU's heavy metal and its radioactivity can damage DNA and may cause genetic defects and tumors in animals and human stem cells. The military has warned about the potential dangers of breathing in DU contaminated dust, like in this instructional video produced for the U.S. military in 1995. Heavy metal poisoning may occur, which can cause damage to internal organs and tissues. That same video talks about radioactive particles that could be trapped in the lungs and possible water and soil contamination. The Army's leading expert on DU hazard awareness training concedes these are all possibilities. But U.S. troops going over to Iraq never saw this tape. There were lots of errors and conflicting messages in that training video, so it was not uh, finalized and distributed to the troops. Instead, the Army's official training video used since 2000 describes DU contamination this way. These emissions are well below U.S. safety standards and do not pose a hazard to soldiers working with or around DU munitions the new video does tell soldiers to wear gloves and masks, especially inside DU-damaged vehicles or within 50 meters of fires that may involve DU. Problem is, some soldiers, like Gerard Matthew, say they never saw it. Dr. Asif Durakovic studied the effects of DU on veterans of the first Gulf War for the U.S. military. He was alarmed by his findings. Now a private researcher, he also tested recent Gulf War vets, including Gerard Matthew, whom Durakovich says has dangerously high levels of DU in his body. Inhalation of uranium dust is harmful. Even in small amounts? E even in the amount of one atom. Durakovich says those small atoms emit radiation for the rest of a soldier's life. Can't that hurt a soldier? in the long run? It would come then to the dose, the total dose in your body, and those particles are very, very small. Matthew's wife wishes her husband had known more about the potential dangers of DU. Because he wasn't told what's out there, he exposed my daughter to this, but it's not his fault. He was just trying to help the country.